Hello everyone, today I'll be presenting family trauma techniques and tools that you can use immediately the next day at work to get achieve better outcomes. And today's technique is called interactional trauma, why family trauma doesn't heal. So before we get started, if you've not met me before, hey, my name is Dr. Scott Sells. Nice to meet you. I am the founder of the Family Trauma Institute and model developer of the FST Family Systems Trauma Model. And my mission is to help you become a family trauma expert with tools and techniques that you can heal the entire traumatized family and not just the individual child. So let's get started. In our 10 years of research, we found an interesting and unknown phenomenon called interactional trauma. Typical protocols to work with the individual child, for example, heal them. But what we found was that when that child returned home, behind closed doors oftentimes, if there was drama, it equaled trauma. And here's what we found. When the parent and child are constantly arguing, fighting, lecturing, as a result of the trauma or other things, it was like literally taking the scab of the trauma event and just ripping it off. There was no way for the family to breathe because as one child said, as soon as I get home, we're fighting all the time. There's so much toxicity in the house that the trauma that I'm experiencing just doesn't get time to heal. So then we were looking at what's causing this. And I wanna share with you one of the exciting discoveries that we made. Parents will do well if they can, which means that they often lack the skills and tools to do so. Many of you have heard and are familiar with the term generational trauma. So here's how it worked. A parent and child will have skills deficits in these areas. The parent struggles with how to problem solve if like the child is about to try to do chores and they can't find places to stack the dishes, they immediately start, you know, blaming and shaming because they were taught that when they were kids, or they have deficits in timing of delivering the intervention, or they wasn't, weren't sure of the delivery or how to do it. And a big thing was, is the more the interactional trauma went on, the less there was nurturance. And without nurturance, they started to feel bitter resentment, and this was just a fertile ground for trauma, not getting healed. So to summarize three points, one is oftentimes what happens is we are focused on the event of the trauma and miss this interactional trauma because we're not looking for it. Secondly, interactional trauma is defined as drama equals trauma or the parent and child constantly fighting. And without these tools, number three, they will do well, but you have to teach them these tools. So in FST, we began a quest of giving the parents and the family the tools they need to heal this interactional trauma. Until next time, have a great week.